Let's head back home now. I don't know, get on or go on or something like that and try and kill some random parasaurs. Just because that guy is pretty good at hacking killing creatures, so maybe we'll get some level ups and stuff. From oh, oh, raptors right there. Let's try and defend the base. What level are these raptors, though? Let's get our ass uh, glass out. Get rid of the climbing picks. Level 39 and a level 7. Mm. Decently high level. Let's see. Uh, let's go to bipedal mode. I don't know. Is this the one that does more damage or the other one? I don't know. Let's try and kill level 39 now. Oh man, we're only doing 15 damage. What? And we're taking. Man, we're taking a ton of damage here. We're taking really, really substantial amounts of damage. Level 7 down. And level 39 down. Iguanodon has like no health. Oh my gosh. I need to figure out what in the world. How is he. How, which one does. I don't know. Which one does more damage? You think the bipedal one would? Because he's got his claws out and stuff like that. But he was only doing like 17 damage right there. So that sucks. But. We are getting a little bit of XP from killing stuff, which is good. Oh man, that much shops has a lot of health. Almost 400. Yeah, speaking of health, we do need to regen, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit back and feed this guy, put your berries and stuff like that, let him just kinda hang out. Hopefully not die or anything like that, right? And, uh, maybe I'll kill that much shops myself. I do want to get the sword. I wonder what level I need to be to get the sword. Let's see. There we go. Need to be level 30, and we have that now, so... 50 metal wingies, I'm sure we'll be able to do that. We have a lot of metal smelting over here, or at least we did earlier. Uh, yeah, I just need to put more fuel in here. So yeah, here we go. More wood. And uh, does this run out of wood? Uh, yeah, I did. Okay. Here's some wood over here, too. There we go. Light that fire. And uh, here's some wood here. And here's some thatch. All right, there you go. Nice. All right, let's, let's make the uh, the sword now. There you go. Let's make the sword. Boom. And uh, what else was I thinking about making? I guess if we try and make the Lonic rifle, like we probably have a lot of metal now. 65, oh yeah, we just used like 50 for the sword, so yeah. I guess we'll just have to wait for the, uh, there you go. Replace those spears now with the sword. That's hopefully going to do way more damage. Let's go find that, uh, Mashops. It's going to be our punching bag for right now to find out how much damage we're doing <laughs> with the, uh, the spears as well as the, uh, the sword, so. And I guess the climb pick, that does some damage. You know, some damage as well, but, like, it's not meant for that. But, uh, if, if it comes down to it, I guess I could use it as, like, an emergency weapon. If, like, for some reason my sword is broke, but... Yeah, that much shops is completely gone. I don't know where it's at, but... Yeah, I guess maybe we could try and do that race. That'd be kind of cool. I'm like, I've been meaning to do those missions a lot more frequently, you guys. Oh, God! A Parasaur just spawned in randomly. Just came in from another dimension. Wait, what in the world is high on Torpor? Level 4. Pretty good rhyme right there. <laughs> I mean, this is running away, like, outrunning me right now. I'm like, I am Thanos. I'm going Thanos snap you out of existence. Gonna slice your tail off. Come on, slow down. Oh, there you go. How much damage am I doing? 97 damage, nice! And I'm doing some good harvesting right there too, that's great. Alright, nice, that's awesome. Uh, I am a- I- I believe I still have the upgrade station installed, so... I can, if I want to, upgrade my weapons, upgrade my armor... ...to make them more effective. You know, give me more armor rating, give my weapons more, uh, damage, and stuff like that. That's- that's something I'll definitely have to look forward to even in the future. Give this guy more berries and stuff, even though I don't- I don't know if that actually helps him, but hey, there you go. Uh, there's my parasol right there. Uh, 948 health on that guy. That's actually pretty decent. Parasol has a level up right there, though. Maybe I'll give him some health. There you go. Now try and kill these Kentra sources over here. Even though I do- Oh, he's actually kind of close to being dead, so I might, I might be able to steal a kill here. Level 39, nice. I'm just trying to gain some XP. 243 damage now. Nice! Awesome! That parasol must have some really good, like, armor eating or something like that. Uh, I guess this Titanobo right here was tr trying to kill those things, huh? I'm like, yeah, they were high on torpidity, so that makes sense. Oh, and here's a dead, uh... Oh, dead x -Parasaur. Okay, I was wondering, like, what in the world? Was that mine? Yeah, I'm like, mine's, like, right there. Oh, yeah, and then, yeah, if I want to upgrade, like, their, their uh, the saddles and stuff, I could do that at the upgrade station, too, but I'm going to have to upgrade my base if I want to do that, because we don't have any room to place them now, so... Get a little bit of water, get a little bit of food, there you go, try and reach out some stamina while we're at it. And, uh, I guess try and find a few more critters to kill, because I'm actually kind of close to leveling up right now. Let's see, how much uh, XP? Yeah, I'll leave that. I'm like, maybe a maybe a third of the way there, maybe a fourth of the way there to uh, getting to level 40, so I just need to kill, like, a couple more critters, and we'll be good to go, you guys. Another Kentrosaurus over there, doing, like, 200-something damage. I'm like, to the Kentrosaurus, to other creatures, I'm sure, we'll be able to do way less damage. So, uh, there you go. 1.2k health, though. We're able to kill it pretty quickly right there, you guys. Nice. Didn't level up right there, though. Probably going, definitely going to have to kill at least one more creature. Nah, maybe two. But I do want to, if we, if we kill anything that's not a Parasaur. Because those things can outrun me. They have pretty good health. 
and uh, like armor eighty and stuff. It seems so. Oh, another Kentrosaurus. Nice. I'm glad I'm going to be able to kill a Kentrosaurus, even though they do some of the damage back to me. I'm sure. I'm going to kill it and do like 200 something damage to it. Low five. And my hide just broke. Yeah, look at that. Uh, my hide armor just broke right there. So that sucks. <laughs> so yeah, I need to watch out for that happening too. So yeah, let's just go back to the base, repair our armor. And uh, we'll, I don't know, harvest some berries and we'll be able to level up right here. <laughs> I'm like, I just need to do some very mundane tasks and get a little very minimal amounts of XP. Cut down a tree or something like that and we'll level up. Because look at this. Just a tiny little sliver right there. Uh, maybe I'll carry some extra armor in my inventory too. That makes sense. Get some, get some wood here. Right, here we get, oh yeah, we got the level up. We can make the train tarts now, finally. And then I don't know if we come across another spino. I'm not gonna look for that one, that one particular spino anymore. That thing's probably like a million miles away. <laughs> Knowing that thing, or it's knocked out or something like that. I don't even know where it is. But yeah, if I find another spino, that's going to be amazing. But I'm not going to try and find that exact spino. Yeah, forget that, right? Sheesh. Anyways, yeah, just regain some stamina, re uh, repair our armor, and uh, apply a level up here. So, uh, what do I want to do? Maybe more melee damage. There we go. It's been a little while, so hey, why not? I'm like, I've been saying that for like everything I've been doing, so pff, whatever. Anyways, repair the armor, so uh, put up the hide. Forge or something hide right there. That's actually pretty heck decent, so uh, let's repair everything over here. So, repair, repair, repair. Everything is queued up to be repaired, so that's great. And, uh, what was it that we're waiting on? Oh, yeah, the uh, metal over here. The metal has uh, smelted about 14 on each one, so that's clearly not enough to make the uh, Delonic rifle just yet. But we can unlock the, let's see, what's it called? Dart? Yes. Wait, no one in the world? High Impact Trank Dart Plus? Why am I able to get that? 10 narcotics, oh my gosh. Where's the Trank Dart? I need to be level 62 for that or something? I can, I can make it the weapon workbench. I don't know if I'm able to use it on a regular Delonic rifle or if I need to, uh, let's see. A rifle plus? Yeah, high, oh, high impact rifle, yeah. So I need this. Man, why in the world are some of the recipes here a lot? Shit, hold on, I'm actually going to look it up right now. I am so confused. Oh my god, I do need to be level 62 for that. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, high impact. No, let's just get it. Forget about it, I don't care. 150 metal ingots for that. And uh, high impact, let's get that too. It's going to be high impact. It's going to be the only trank I can... Uh, darts we'll be able to even heck and make. I guess if we could make fiberglass trank arrows, that'd be something we could use too. And that's basically the arrow version of this, it looks like. But I guess we'll do this. There you go. Then, uh, tr oh, trank attachments. Ooh. Uh, that's just a scope. Scope plus. So it's the scope, silencer, and a flashlight. Ooh, so that's actually kind of interesting. Don't really think I need it, though, but man. Yeah, the, I don't know why the uh, Lonic rifle. The, the trank darts, you need to be so high level for that, apparently. So yeah, let, let me just put up uh, some spoiled meat over here. Maybe I'll let some meat spoil in my inventory on purpose, too. Just get a little more spoiled. Maybe I'll just let all that spoil. Yeah, this is all spoils in about four minutes, so if I uh, split stack that in my inventory, that's going to spoil very, very uh, quickly, and we're going to get a lot of spoiled meat out of that, so that's going to be awesome. Uh, speaking of sp let's get some spark powder. <laughs> put it over here now, and let's uh, make sure that's nice and fueled up, so that's great. And uh, you know what, let's, do, let's go do a heckin' mission race thing. It's been a little while since we've done a mission, so might as well do that, right? Let's put the uh, spears over there. And uh, fishing net. I guess we can put that up over there, too. But yeah, uh, Operation Tame the Heckin' Spino, or whatever I called it earlier. Heckin' Failure. We I really wish we were able to tame it, but fortunately that thing just kept heckin' running away, running away, running away all the time. So, yeah. If it wasn't a run away, like, so frequently, we would have been able to tame it. I know it for a fact. And I guess, I, I guess if we were on a mount... Maybe we'd be able to pursue it and, you know, let our mount just soak up the damage. If we were on our iguana on, it has, like, almost a thousand health now. I guess we could do that. Just get on the iguana on, let the iguana on soak up any hits, and then just pursue it when it runs away on the, uh, iguana on itself. Uh, I guess that's something we could have done with the Spino. But, like, I, I was so afraid that anything would die from the Spino itself that I just, I just didn't want to risk anything, uh, there you go, my armor's done now, nice. I just didn't want to risk anything potentially dying from the Spino itself whenever it comes to retaliating stuff, right? So, I don't know. Anyways, uh, this spoils in about two and a half minutes, so uh, let me split stack, split all. And uh, here in about two and a half minutes, we're going to have 400 or so. Oh, wait, hold on, split all again. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess I ran out of inventory space right there, okay. But uh, we're going to have, like, maybe 200 or something like that spoiled meat, so that's going to be great. Uh, you know what, let me just, uh, let me just slow-mo like that. There you go, let me let time pass super duper quickly. That way I don't have to actually pause. And, uh, here in just a moment, we're gonna slow-mo one. There you go. Here in just a moment, we're gonna have a, Oh, five more seconds, we're gonna have a bunch of spoiled meat, you guys. Oh my gosh. 
It's going to be crazy. Let me see if I can split all again right when that spoils. Oh, uh, nope. Okay, yeah, another 20 minute timer right there. Okay, that sucks. <laughs> all right, well, uh, I guess I'll have to move on all the raw. There you go, transfer all, and then it goes back to a stack, and then there you go. Okay, well, at least we have 298 more spoiled meat right there, which is amazing. And uh, we have some really good berry harvesting critters here, too. So, uh, 86 narcotic berries, not really that much, but we can get more here in just a moment. So, uh, let's actually get some narcotics here. There you go. And uh, while that's going, we're going to have more metal smelting over here, which is great. Looks like a 34 right there on each thing, so that's awesome. Uh, let's go back to our Parasaur, because I believe he's our best berry collecting type critter. So, let's actually start to... Oh, whoops. Which one is it? I forget which attack it was. Oh, or am I not? Oh, I guess I'm not able to get berries from those for some strange reason. I thought I was able to get berries from everything over here, but I guess not. Yeah, let's, let's continue getting berries over here. And, uh, I don't know. I guess just play the waiting game until we're able to actually get the heckin' high-impact rifle, high-impact train darts, or maybe I'll just try and do what I just said and just make regular train arrows and then pursue it on my iguana. That way we'll be able to chase after it using our iguana to hopefully soak up any hits from it, right? Uh, 134 narcoberries right there just by spamming around with our hair sword. That's actually not that bad. So yeah, let me let me continue getting more narcoberries here, you guys. I don't know, I guess we'll adventure out on our parasaur. Or uh our iguana. Maybe we'll try and find another spinosaur. Try and tame it. I feel like that's going to be a really good worthy mission. And it looks like our parasaur just got a mission right there by doing nothing but harvesting berries, so that's awesome. 268 narcoberries in his inventory now, nice. But yeah, uh, let me pause, continue getting a bunch of narcotics, and I guess I'll just make a bunch of trank arrows for right now. And now I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Alright guys, I am back. I just did a little bit of remodeling here at the base and uh, expanded it out a little bit. Now, when we last left off, it was like it was like a 3 by like it was like a 3 by 2 I think, right? But I expanded this out, two more foundations, moved my bed and the door and stuff like that. I didn't want to move this out a little bit because I didn't want to move the other uh, boxes. So we have this uh, little corner right here. I put the uh, preserving bin outside right there, but move the uh, move this over by one whole foundation. So three more foundations right there and move the forges over that corner. The smithy and the weapons workbench right there. Now I have four mortar and pestles over here, which is great. Bed over here, campfire over here. So really nice and organized. I really like how we're going uh, here with, I'm like, we have room for like a weapons work or that's a weapon but like an armor workbench or like an upgrade station or something like that we have plenty of room over here for that so that's awesome but uh i was also thinking we should be able to get the crossbow by now right like we we're, we shouldn't be jumping from the bow to the long neck rifle but yeah crossbow right there that definitely makes a lot more sense than going straight to the long neck rifle which like we already made that thing so i'm like we, we might as well use it right uh, where'd it go i don't know wait did we even make it yeah i, th I thought we made it I don't know. If I made it, I don't know where it is. I might, I might have put it up somewhere and I completely disregard it, you guys. Uh, I don't see it. Yeah, I don't know where it is if I have it anywhere. <laughs> okay, well, maybe I didn't make it yet. Well, that's good, though. But, uh, yeah, let's try and make the crossbow. Did I unlock it right there? I don't know if I did or not, but uh, let's go to weapons. Uh, ranged. There it is right there, crossbow. Yeah, seven, seven metal. That's nothing. We have tons of metal nowadays, which is great. Speaking of such, I have one random metal right there I need to take care of. But the crossbow is going to be great. It's just going to load up basically like a gun. So uh, I don't have to worry about like pullback or anything like that. It's just always going to be shooting. So that's going to be great. I do want to get that upgrade station though. Just so we could hopefully uh, not update. Up oh, there it was right there. Upgrade station. There it is right there. I don't need that version of it. Uh, but we can make the upgrade station and uh, use that to upgrade. Oh, God, I'm typing update again. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we need raw, regular raw metal. I don't know if we have any of that left over. Uh, yeah, that all smelted over here, unfortunately. So I guess I'll have to get some uh, up. Oh, there it is right there. I don't need to. There it is. Uh, yeah, I still need eight more raw metal and 41 regular stones. So, yeah, I guess I'll have to go around and get a little bit of that. To get the upgrade station and maybe upgrade the crossbow and stuff like that. Because I'm pretty sure the crossbow, that, that'll that be easy peasy to upgrade. I don't think we need to worry about that at all. We want to be able to get a little bit of, uh, there you go, get a little bit of metal and stone from this stuff. Five metal right there, nice. I don't know, we need uh, only like eight or something like that, but pretty good amount of uh, stone we're still going to need, so let's see. There you go, that's a good amount of stone. Another, oh, another couple metal right there. And I believe now we should have enough resources, no problemo, so that's going to be great. Let me continue grabbing some more stuff up here. And we have another level up, nice. Get some more stone. There we go, nice. All right, let's head back to the base. There you go. All right, let's head back. 
And uh, let's go make this upgrade station. Yeah, it's kind of awkward now that the door is kind of like right there. But yeah, I also, I made all the uh, the stuff over here. They're all still windows. That way I can still defend the base and whatnot if I need to. I uh, definitely will upgrade this to stone pretty soon, though. Uh, let's do stamina. It's been a little while for that one, too. So let's make the upgrade station now. So uh, boom, there it is right there. Craft that. And of course, we can upgrade items over here. I'm basically using the same uh, resources it takes to... Uh, let's see, how are we going to do that? I guess I'll do this. Because we do need to leave a little bit of room for the augmentation station to go there, so that'll be great. But let's see if we can upgrade this uh, this crossbow. What do we need to uh, upgrade it? 12 more metal ingots, 59 fiber, and 17 wood. That's nothing. Let's go grab some stuff. Uh, oh, that's raw. Oh, yeah, look at that. We have uh, metal ingots right there. A little bit of fiber, a little bit of wood. Let's grab that. Unfortunately, it's not able to, like, pull the resources up here to upgrade, so we have to manually do that, so... Upgrade the uh, crossbow. 44 more fiber? Oh, I thought I grabbed way more fiber than that. 15 fiber, that's all I grabbed. <laughs> really? All right, we're going to need like 44. Eh, let's just grab, there you go. Get like 300 or something like that. Let's grab some more wood too, and a little bit more metal too. That way we might be able to upgrade like multiple times. Maybe even upgrade our armor and uh, other stuff like our, uh, our sword or our metal hatchet, stuff like that. And I'll grab even more metal. There you go, even more, 143. Golly, that's a lot. There you go. All right, let's see if we can actually uh, upgrade the crossbow. Boom, so now it is ramshackle, which is great. So it has, uh, oh, whoa, almost doubled the weapon damage, guys. 199.2%, great stuff there. Uh, let's see if we can upgrade our pick, our, our sword, our hatchet. Uh, I need a little bit of hide. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I don't think I grabbed any hide, so let's see how much, do oh, almost a thousand, whoa. Yeah, let's grab, uh, I don't know, like a hundred or something like that. I don't know how much we need for all three of those things. But yeah, let's put it up over here. And I guess I'll put that bow up as storage, as like a backup if I, I can die or something like that. At least I'll have a bow. And I'll be able to use that like right out of the gate. Let's try and upgrade the pit. Oh, whoa, it skipped. Whoa. Wow, it went to apprentice level. 287% weapon damage. Nice. Really lucky there. Upgrade the sword. Ramp shock 142.5%. And the hatchet. 178.0. Okay, not bad at all, and I still have a torch for some reason. And we, uh, by the way, I could upgrade that too. <laughs> I need a uh, flint and stone, so uh, there you go, and there you go. Let's get an upgraded torch. It, it skipped a level two, 160 percent. Oh, we can get the climbing pick uh, upgraded as well too. So I, I guess we could do that if we want to. Uh, 25 cement base. I don't know if I have that though. Uh, yeah, I don't have cement base over there. Oh, I do have narcotics though, so I can make more stuff out of that, but. I think I'm going to save that narcotic because I have uh, 116 trank arrows right there, so I don't need to have, uh, you know, too much more than that. And with the upgraded uh, crossbow right there, we should be doing more torpidity. So that's going to be great. So, do you guys feel what I'm feeling? Let's get on our Iguanon, which, by the way, I upgraded him to, uh, he's over a thousand health right now, which is awesome. Uh, he does have a little, eh, not too many berries and stuff like that in his inventory. I don't think I need to offload that. Uh, maybe I'll give him some more. Let's give him some movement speed. So there you go. Sounds like the zapper just zapped some heckin' bugs, which is great. <laughs> All right, let's go around now, you guys. And uh, the crossbow, it has stone arrows in it, so it's loaded up with... There you go, trank arrows. And now, if we're if we're pursuing, like, a spino or something like that, we're going to be able to pursue it with this heckin' crossbow. And maybe not go... Oh, whoa, whoa, Almost forgot the main ingredient, you guys. Raw prime meat. Let's go grab it. Oh, yeah, look at the bugs up there. Yeah, they got heckin' zapped right there. That's good. I like seeing that. Get that trash out of here. I really wish I knew what the, the, the radius of that was. That way I know, like, if I need to put more of them down or whatever, you know. But we have 16 raw prime meat right there, which is great. Let's grab a little bit of... Oh, whoa, whoa. Here are more bugs outside, but they're getting zapped. Let's <laughs> grab, like, maybe, I don't know, 100 regular raw meat right there, just in case. And uh, now, I'm like, if we don't... If we can't tame, like, a spino, maybe we'll tame, like, a terror bird or something like that instead. That'd be really good get our zapper out. Our portable zapper, that is. Our porta zapper. And let's zap these trash. There you go. Get out of your garbage. Nice. Alright, let's keep going this way. This is where we saw the Spino spawn. That was a pretty good amount of uh, alliteration right there. Sheesh. <laughs> but yeah, this is where we saw the Spino spawn, so surely we're going to be able to see more of them spawn over here. I'm like, we've only ever seen one. Parasaur right there. And, uh, shops right there. I'm not seeing any Spinos. Of course, those guys will stick out like a sore heckin' thumb. Not like we're going to really have too much trouble finding one if one's nearby, right? Because they're heckin' huge. <laughs> Can't really miss them. Speaking of such, I, I've gone around here for a little while. I haven't seen a Spino just yet, so that sucked. But uh, let's keep our lantern out just so we can zap these heckin' swarms of bugs whenever they get near us. Let's keep going around here. Oh, Titanobos. Yeah, I'm like, oh, oh, more raptors right there. Raptors. Big pack of raptors. I'm going to run away, though. My iguana's a decent speed. He is on uh, quadruped mode, so that's good. Should be a little bit faster. 
And uh, we are outrunning those raptors. I, I don't think they're even pursuing me anymore. It's great. Oh, there's the race. You guys want to do the race? We haven't done that yet. I'm not seeing any, uh... I'm not seeing anything around here. Like, spino-wise. No, no, no raptors around here in this general area. If we do this, like, race right here, which it looks like it. It's like a checker, checker flag. I assume this is a race. Oh. What was a terrain on up there? Okay. Ooh, I thought that was something else. Yeah, I guess we can put our iguana on down. There he goes. Do you have a Lola? Nah, you don't have a Lola. Okay, that's fine. Let's go over here. Let's do the race, I suppose. What is this called? Uh, bo oh, Bog Rally. Yeah, we saw this earlier. Let's do Bog Rally. But let's test how fast you are. Well, I did get some comments from the uh, the previous race we tried to do. Mount up and get our race on. Well, I did get some comments from the previous uh, race. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh, man, we're on a Caprasucus or something? Really? But yeah, I got a comment saying that. Your mark. Get set. Go! That, uh, I'm supposed to, like, not be mounted on something like that because they're automatically going to give me a mount. Oh, man, a speed boost or something like that? Seems like it if you don't get stuck on a heckin' rock, right? But yeah, hey, we're doing the Gamma race right now, which is, oh, yeah, look at that speed boost. Cool. But yeah, it's the Gamma race right now, so nothing too crazy. And the Iguana is still back. At the start of the race, hopefully he's fine. He's not going to get like, oh, oh, oh we're going past our base. <laughs> awesome. I wonder what happened around here. I'm like, hey, this is technically a mission area, right? So I shouldn't be building over here anyways. But yeah, these circles look like, yeah, they're boost little things. So that's cool. Yep, yep, yep. Got boosted right there. Nice. So let's keep. Oh, God. Oh, I got too close to that thing. and got poisoned. Man, you kidding me? I'm in position one out of one, though. Race progress nine out of 36. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Really? That really slows us down. Really want to stay away from those heckin' uh, poison things, you guys. Golly! I don't know if I'm supposed to be, like, doing a time trial right now, trying to beat a certain timer. I'm like, I'm literally just going up against literally no one right now. <laughs> but, but, yeah, but, like, I'm going up against literally no one right now, so I'm, I'm just automatically going to win, right? <laughs> so, as long as I, I, I... Yeah, look at that, the time... Oh, whoa, whoa, it, it does have a timer going down. Three minutes, 13 seconds. My time is about a minute 18 right now. So, yeah, I can only assume that we just have to beat the uh, the Bog Rally Gamma time itself. As well as maybe come in first place if we're in, like, multiplayer, which I'm not, of course. <laughs> but we're at 20 out of 36 of these uh, these checkpoints right here. Thankfully, it's showing us where to go. Maybe we'll go back to the ocean biome and actually do that one properly, right? And, uh... Oh, we're actually going through, like, caves and stuff here! I haven't even been over here yet! Yeah, we're getting stuck in, like, the heckin' metal and stuff, too. Oh, he's really cramped over here. Of course, we're getting stuck on the terrain. Whoa, Paris and Ethereum. Definitely want to uh, not heck and run into that guy. Golly. But yeah, I maybe want to go back to the ocean biome. Not mounted on a raft, because I did get comments from you guys saying, yeah, if you're mounted on something whenever you start the race, it's going to like glitch out like that, because it's supposed to like teleport you to a mount like it did with us with the Caprasucus right there. So yeah, <laughs> 31 out of 36 right now. Yeah, we're going to beat this time trial. No problem. Two minutes left on the on the Bog Rally countdown timer, it looks like. And uh, only two more checkpoints we need to hit. And we're going to have this Bog Rally down, you guys. So we're going to be finishing our first race. And ba boom! Do we get a victory lap? Oh, victory lap? Where? First place with Thanos. And we just got dismounted. Look at you. Top of the leaderboard. That's right. I'm like, you must be knackered. That tired me out. And I'm a hologram. Do we get any, uh... Oh, I guess we get... Oh, look at that. We got, like, uh... I don't know, like, 1,500 or something like that. Uh, almost caught him Ingram points. But, uh, Hexagos right there. That's pretty good. So we're over 10,000 now, finally. And I know I've been getting comments from you guys constantly. Here's what I've got. Saying that I should not get the loot box. The tier one, if anything. But just for curio pure curiosity's sake. I just want to see what's inside. What are we going to get? I'm sure you guys are going to want to know, too. If, if I get something stupid like a heckin' one piece of wood, it, it'll be a pretty funny meme that I'm spending 10,000 heckin' hexagon points on this. But let's do it. Just for curiosity's sake, 10,000 hexagon points for a tier 1 loot crate. Let's do this. Oh, whoa, we got a Mastercraft gotcha saddle. That, uh... Thanks, mate. That might not be too bad. I'm like, I don't know where we get gotchas. But yeah, now we're in the area. Let's get our uh, crossbow back out. Now you know what? We'll put the crossbow up for right now. That way we don't have to have that first-person perspective when we don't need it. But let's look out for a Spino. Let's look out for a Spino. Let's look out for high-level Raptors. Anything that would be good and be worth the tame. And that wouldn't be, like, the biggest risk in the universe. I'm like a... 
a level 100 or something like that spine. That'd be crazy good, but it'd be a huge heckin' risk. Now, if I, could, if I could find that original... If I could find that original spine that we were chasing after in this general area, that'd be great, too. Level 31 right here. Oh, we already have health! Uh, you know what? I'm going dismount. I'm going dismount. I'm going to get my sword. I'm going to get my sword, and boom! There we go. Ooh, I had to do that, you guys. Man, my iguana surely would have died right there if I didn't have my sword and, and didn't immediately kill that raptor right there, you guys. Wow. Alright, well... Stay out of the water, at least right now, to stay away from the, uh, any critters that might be out hunting in the waters. Like Titanoboas and whatever else might be there. But, uh, no Spinos, of course, because we haven't seen them like at all, golly. But, uh, the Lava Swords, oh, yeah, the Lava Swords, that don't really matter too much. We can kill that thing, no problem. Oh, it's a level 35, had 300 health, but yeah, we're doing like double digit damage to it. 53 damage per hit, nice. Now the Lava Swords over here we'll be able to kill and maybe get a level up for our uh, what? Nah, not quite. Yeah, there you go. That's uh, still a little ways away until we get a level up right there, but... Yeah, it's something I was thinking about that Mastercraft gotcha stat if we don't tame like a gotcha or anything like that. We can always throw it inside the upgrade station. I don't know if you guys, if you're new or whatever, but we can salvage items in the upgrade station as well, which is really good. Now, I'm seeing what looks like some sort of light over there. I don't know if there's a... Oh, these swarm over here hasn't got... Oh, there you go. They got killed. Nice. Oh, there must be, like, weird glowing mushrooms or something like that. I don't know if there's, like, an aberration cave or something like that over here, but... Seemed like there might have been just, like... Oh, yeah, look at that. There's, like, glowing mushrooms over here. Kind of like a uh, arc aberration. I don't know if I want to harvest anything over here. You know, metal and crystal and stuff like that. I don't think I'm going to do that here. I don't really need that, to be quite honest, but... uh yeah, my, my, my guy is not really doing too well in health. I definitely want to be careful around here, you guys. I'm not able to heal him up. I don't have any, like, healing, like, potions or anything like that that I had back in my modded series. Or, you know, more heavily modded. It's still technically modded, right? Deodon right there. Oh, I'm going to have to watch out. That Deodon comes over here. I'm going to dismount and I'm going to... Oh, bag of raptors over there. I don't know if you guys saw that. Bag of raptors all the way over there. Staying away from that. Yeah, it might not be the best idea. This, this guy is like, no, no. Brachio's Edge Brana right there. I want to just stay away from everything in general until this guy regens, but it's taking quite a while for that, so. Is that half health right now? 200, you know, 420. Hacking health right now. You know, it slowly blades his, his health back up, but it's taking quite a while, so. Once he goes over a thousand, I'm going to be a lot more comfortable. Oh, 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 dead on. Oh, oh, dismounting, dismounting. Sword. Dead on. You're getting killed. Low five dead on. And dead on down. Nice. Hashtag dead on down. And Carno, I saw that in the background. Carno in the background. What level? That might be a really good... Level 25 and it's almost dead. Oh, come on, Titanum. Now, now we got... Can, can this zapper kill Titanum Irmas too? Because those things are as annoying as heckin' swarms. Like, oh, heckin' league. Another Iguanodon... Yeah, another two Iguanodons over there, which is cool. But yeah, I think that Carno might have died. So... Yeah, it, it was fighting a catch of swords over there, so it, it, it was getting, like, thorns, like, like reflective damage and stuff like that back to it. Yeah, I killed this Titanium Murmur trash. Yeah, there you go. But that's good to know. We could we could find Spinos, we could find Carnos, we could find Raptors. All really good. Yeah, look at that dead, uh, dead Carno right there. Nice. It's, uh, Harvest this heckin' corpse. Carnivore, or er, Carno. Carnotaurus corpse. <laughs> Trying to do some stupid alliteration right there. It wasn't even working out, even in the slightest. A Deodon, honestly, would be a really good critter. Like, it's such a tanky heckin' critter. That honestly, I, I might consider taming one. Especially because it is a support-type unit, too, if you have, a, like, a group of, uh... of, uh, of dinos together. It's, it, it'll be able to heal them... up if you... I'm like, it will, it will eat a heckin' ton of food, but... at least it'll heal up a bunch of critters. There's a crevice right there. I need to watch out for it. I don't want to fall down there. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep my eyes peeled here, you guys. For Carnos, Spinos, even high-level Raptors. Although I kind of want to get something that's a little bit better than a Raptor. Like we saw how 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 those Raptors fared, even high-level ones. If there's if there's one that's like 30 levels higher than the <laughs> the Raptor that we have, yeah, it's going to get absolutely annihilated. Like golly. But I'm, I'm I guess I'm just going to keep exploring around here in the bog. It's been a little while. Might as well just explore. Just generally just explore and see what we could find. If we could find some glitches, that'd be really good. You know, try and replenish our, our, our hexagon count that we just just drained hardcore by getting that heckin' loot box thing. Which, honestly, you guys were hyping it up to be, like, absolute and utter garbage. Mastercraft isn't, like, the highest. It's, like, the second to the highest or something like that, right? So, like, it's not too crazy terrible. But, honestly, for 10,000 hexagon points, not bad. Like, I guess it could be worse. 
<laughs> but honestly, it's not, not terrible. And we could probably get some good amount of resources from it if we salvage it too. So I'd say that uh, that loot box wasn't terrible. <laughs> not, not, not as bad as you guys were hyping up the uh, loot, tier one loot box to potentially be. But let me just keep going around here, see if I can find anything interesting to tame with our like new equipment that we have. And I'll see you guys here in a bit if I find anything that might be worthy of us knocking out and potentially taming. So come to pause the recording. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit. And by the way, if anything else interesting happens along the way, if I find like another another mission or something like that, just randomly, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll do that as well. That, that seems fun. It's just randomly coming across missions. I might as well do them, right? Just get some more bog missions out of the way. So yeah, good pause the recording. Try and find some worthy, tameable critters or, you know, an interesting mission or something like that. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Whoa! 